Well, in this class, we'll be using computers to help us solve Maxwell's equations. Computers can help us to solve much more complex and realistic problems than what we could solve analytically. And remember that we have digital computers. Computers that store discrete numbers. This means we'll only be able to solve Maxwell's equations at discrete points in space and in time. So let's start with po the pointwise form of Maxwell's equations. And let's examine the pointwise form of Maxwell's equations in more detail. Consider a scenario where we are applying the pointwise form of Maxwell's equations to a specific position in space. First, we notice there is a curl operator. It's operating here on the magnetic field. What this means is that the curl operation on the left side of Ampere's law tells us whether and how strongly the magnetic field circulates around the position in space where we're solving this equation. Similarly, the curl operation on the left side of Faraday's law tells us how strongly the electric field might circulate around the position in space where we're sol trying to solve this equation. Next, I want to point out that the J term here represents the current density flowing at the position of interest. So right at that position in space where we're solving this equation. This is a source term. That is, if you have a known electric current flowing through the spatial position of interest right here, like current flowing along a current carrying wire, this would mean we would have a non-zero value on the right side of this equation right here. And we would get a non-zero value on the left side of this equation, meaning circulating magnetic fields around that position in the space would be generated. Another way we can get a circulating magnetic field is if there is a time-changing D field at the spatial position of interest, electric flux density. Similarly, for Faraday's law here, if we have a time-changing magnetic flux density, B at the spatial position of interest, there will be circulating electric fields around that position. In order to program a computer to help us solve these equations, we need to know what our unknowns are. That is, what values in these two equations do we want the computer to help us calculate? How many unknowns are there? Assume that we already know J. So this is known. Whether there, it's known whether there's any current flowing at, any, at the position in space or not. 